By June, a $3 million classroom addition at New Brockton Elementary is expected to be complete. But WDHN's Mike Gerspan says this section of the building will also serve as a state-of-the-art storm shelter. In just the last three years, the student population has jumped by nearly 300 students at New Brockton Elementary. In the 2021-2022 school year, the facility will open a 12 new classroom addition will also serve as a modern storm shelter. The new windows, in fact, are designed to handle winds in excess of 200 miles per hour from an EF5 tornado. The cinder block walls are reinforced with strong materials. In these classrooms, uh, I decided at the time to, uh, to look into making it a storm shelter, which the board agreed and voted to uh, also make it a storm shelter, which makes all of our people here on this campus safe. Uh, we're excited about that, uh, excited about getting it completed. We're nearing the end and should be in uh, to the building by sometime in mid-June. With the deadly tornado which struck Enterprise High School in March 2007, contractors want to make sure that their storm shelters can withstand 200 mile per hour plus winds. An interesting feature about these windows is that they're rated for 200 mile an hour winds without the use of a steel shutter. Uh, every window has 60 7 inch wedge head uh, Hilti stud anchors holding it to the structure so they're actually rated for 200 mile an hour winds without the storm shutter. By not having to shut storm shutters due to the new windows, Killingsworth says that allows teachers more time to calm the concerns of young students in times of impending severe weather. Reporting in New Brockton, Mike Respan, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. In addition to the 12 new classrooms at New Brockton Elementary, this summer work will get underway on six new classrooms at the town's high school.